In this video tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps for exporting a 3D model from Autodesk Maya to the iAuthor uh, for the purpose of uh, exporting the model to the iPad for the iBooks platform. Uh, I loaded one of my 3D models here. Uh, it's a foam holder. And as you can see, my model uh, has um, different objects. And getting the exporter to work uh, is a little bit tricky. It took me some time to figure it out. Um, but if you go to the Apple website and check for the iBooks uh, best practices for using 3D models, um, you will see that there are certain guidelines for exporting models. Again, the iPad iBooks uh, supports the Collada platform. And uh, Collada is an open source format. Um, Maya, by default, supports this format through the FBX export plugin. And if you go to the poly count, you see that for the iPad, you are limited to roughly 20,000 polygons. For the iPad 2, um, it's about 50,000. And this can be uh, immediately a limitation um, for your models because most of us will work with 100,000, if not sometimes a million of polygons. Um, so that kind of limits the quality of work that you can see on the iPad. Uh, for the lights, um, I had five lights in my scene, um, and they worked. I tried ambient, but uh, Maya converted that to um, something else while exporting. For textures, make sure you are doing 1024 by 1024. For textures to work, you need to have the texture file in the same directory alongside the exported Collada object, or the .dae uh, file. Otherwise, the textures will not be loaded. And for the camera, I tried the camera and aim, but basically the scene didn't load on the Mac. So I wouldn't even try to do that. Uh, I will just leave it to the perspective camera. If you just do that, you will see the camera in your scene. So uh, that saves you uh, some time. Um, again, so let me switch back to Maya and let me go through the process of exporting. So what I did here is I did the modeling uh, in the low poly model. So I can select my objects and um, I can click one. And here you see my low poly object. If I press three, then I immediately jump back to the smooth version. Now to look at the poly count, you go to display, heads up display, and select poly count. And uh, in the first uh, column, you will see the total number of polygons in your scene. And here I'm about 19 or 20,000 polygons. So again, I can select my objects. And as I select, I see the second column updates. And this tells me how many polygons um, this object has. And I look at the faces here. So the faces indicates the number of polygons. And um, in order to low or lower the number of polygons, what I will do is um, I will go to the smooth mesh in my attribute editor. Again, in order to get the attribute editor, you click this button and then you select your shape object. And here you see the smooth mesh preview and uh, the preview division level is set to one. By default, Maya sets that to two. And as you can see, once I um, set it to two, the total poly, poly counts jump to 38,000. So again, what you want to do is you probably want to set everything to 1. If you can go with 0, that will be even better. Again, don't try to um, exceed the limit. Um, usually the iPad will give you a warning when you try to put a high um, poly count object uh, into the iBook. And again, here you see it's 400, so this is 6,000, this is 3,000. So uh, this is a nice and a quick way to basically control the number of division your object has. Um, and the textures, as for the textures, if you go to the shader that I have here, you can see I linked the color to a texture file. Uh, transparency works as well. Um, I tried that and it worked. You can control the diffuse. Uh, one more thing is, um, as 
far as the lights go, um, the intensity does not work, so you control the intensity of the light via the color slider. So the higher the color um, or the whiter it is, um, the more intense the light is. And once I'm ready to export my file, I go to File, um, Export All or Export Selection. And let me move this. It takes its time to load the window. So, all right, so we're ready. I'm gonna move this. So, here, what you want to select is um, you want to select DAE, which is the Collada file format FBX export. And then you have um, some options here that you can select. I didn't really change anything, I just hit the export selection and then um, I ended up having my Collada object. And uh, again, if you are planning to use multiple objects uh, in your uh, book, maybe you want to control the file size as well. So, a 20,000 uh, polygon count gives me about 3 megabytes file. So, going to the Mac, I imported uh, the exported model. I put it in, a, in this folder and as you can see I was experimenting with a lot of files so let me zoom in a little bit so I'm gonna make things a little bit bigger and the nice thing uh, if you go to the Mac is that it can show you a preview of the file inside Finder and uh, if the file uh, did not load basically that means um, the file cannot be read so this is a quick way to to tell if you did the export right or wrong. And here I have my um, light setup objects and if I press the space bar I can immediately bring a preview of the file and I can interact with the mouse and look at my model in 3D. Now in order to um, put that in your iBook uh, you need to basically load the iBook author. I'm gonna just throw a quick example. So I have my um, example book here. Uh, you go to widgets and then select 3D. And now you have this 3D widget um, loaded. And I can just quickly drag and drop my 3D objects into the widget. And boom, I have it loaded here. And if you want to preview it on the iPad, I'm going to hit the preview button and it will prepare a, a preview version. So now I go to the iPad and boom, I have my scene loaded and I can um, bring it to full screen and I can interact with it immediately. So again, this is a really quick uh, overview of how to export um, objects from Maya to the iBook um, for Apple. Uh, I did not cover everything, um, but I hope this can serve as a starting point for those of you who want to um, have this cool feature inside their textbooks.